Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the one that y'all requested. I'm going to let you know what's going on with me and how I found out. Um, if you've been here for a little while, you know that in March I had a triple bypass. Um, and then like, I don't know, maybe a month. Not, well, I don't know if it was a month, but then I had the rods that hold my that were holding my sternum together which is where they crack your chest open um, I had lost so much weight at that time they were actually protruding it is you know kind of you can see them through my breastbone anyway after I was getting healed from all that and I'm still healing believe it or not um, I kept asking the doctor I should be feeling better, right? And he's like, well, you know, it takes a little bit of time. And I'm like, well, I don't feel good. There, I, I don't feel better. You know, I didn't know I was sick that way to begin with. Uh, with the heart problem, I went in to get uh, a small day patient surgery and I woke up five or six days later in intensive care after having the bypass. Um, now, y'all are so polite, nobody has mentioned the fact that I, I know y'all can see that I've lost quite a bit of weight because you can see it in my face. I, I, I know you can. <laughs> um, so I started having tests and I went to different doctors explaining the ends of my fingers were turning white and I don't mean like, you know how... You know, I don't mean like maybe this. I'm talking about a shocking white that's quite clearly something's not going correctly. And um, not only that, I was, you know, I just generally wasn't feeling great at all. Um, and I, no, you know, no sleeping, but that's been a consistent problem with me my entire life. So wasn't that worried about that part. However, um, when they did the blood testing at a rheumatologist, they found out, you know, there were things wrong. And um, I've had tests like uh, ultrasounds, you know, all those different kinds of things. Because what I have is called scleroder scleroderma. It's, I'll, I'll put the word up here uh, and so that you can see it. I, I can't pronounce it really correctly. But what happens, it's the hardening of your skin and your internal organs and um, you have to take measures to try and stop it because if it damages your internal organs too much well they fail and then you know there's not much left for you to do except for the inevitable um, the way that my doctor is going about, you know, I've been tested for all, the, the first thing they did was test my heart to make sure it hadn't been affected by it, and thank God no, however, it appears that there might be something wrong with my liver, because my liver functions are not in balance, and, um, you know, it's one of the signs of uh, what's going on. Um, now, Sometimes I can wear my rings. Sometimes I can't. I try. I, they're here on my desk, and I try every day to put them on, like my wedding ring and that kind of thing. Because I, in my mind, before I knew this, hey, I've lost all this weight. I should be able to get my rings on again. But <clears throat> uh, your hands are usually the first thing that you notice. Um, the tips of them uh, here will turn blue and what it means is you're not getting proper oxygen or blood flow to your fingers and believe me guys it is painful um this is the the problem that's had me so sick and um i don't know you know i hopefully that'll change and it won't affect me this much because there's not much else i can do i have to do what they're telling me to there's a medication <clears throat> excuse me that i have to take and it's a, i don't want to say the name because i'm not really sure on youtube what we can and can't say so i don't want to say it but it's a medication that 
<coughs> excuse me, is initially for chemotherapy. And um, the whole goal is to stop the progression because there's not a cure. But if you know anything about like going through uh, chemotherapy, I started noticing um, that I'm losing hair, you know, but you guys probably can't see it because it's, it's in the back. I had a thinning spot back here anyway, but now it's, it's very much thinning. And, uh, you know, there's things you can do to make it look like you still have a full head of hair. But also with that, is extreme nausea, um, you know, vomiting, um, other things that you just are in the bathroom 24-7, and um, headache. I mean, there's just, it's a lot. It's a lot, lot. And um, really, there's nothing you can do. I, I take my treatment, or whatever you want to call it, every Friday, and I started out with six pills at once in the in the mid afternoon on Fridays, and then you know I did that for a little while, and then a couple weeks ago it was up to, to eight. So I take four in the morning on Fridays, which I believe is tomorrow, and then I take four in the evening on Fridays. So you know it is what it is. I always have the mindset that I'm going to do what I have to do regardless. I've got two kids and a husband. They need me. I have to be here. And, um, yeah. Uh, the other thing with that is, and I think I said it at the beginning, um, your uh, skin is also, I think they call it an organ, but it can harden your skin to where it I've actually known someone that had it and I say known because she passed away I I'm just trying not to go that direction I'm I'm trying to think okay they got it early they found it early everything's gonna work out I mean you have to be positive right so anyway that's what's going on if i ever look a little green around the gills it's just because i'm probably green around the gills i might be a little bit sick but this is my outlet i've said that many times before on this channel i i love making the videos i love uh you know experimenting with makeup and uh finding new things for you guys so that's basically it I did want to say, and this is off that topic, because I, I think I'm going to just close the door on that one, and we'll see how it goes. I did use the Huda Beauty palette Empowered today. This is it. Okay. It's a beautiful palette. I haven't used Huda Beauty in a very long time. This came in the Icon box, if I'm not mistaken, which was absolutely terrific the one that came in i think it was november but that one's a good one so let me show you i don't want to get too close because i did in fact use my favorite drugstore um foundation and guys <coughs> excuse me i'm not remembering i hadn't used it for a while and i'll see what you think but this is it I'm not exactly sure how it looks. I, I've, I'm thinking maybe that, uh, <coughs> man, I do not know what's wrong. I'm thinking that maybe the last of what I had of the, it's Revlon Candid uh, Glow Foundation. I'm thinking of what I had left that came from over at the other house i think maybe it was uh expired but i and i threw it away but that's what's on my face so i'll have to use it again uh one of the new ones that i have and see if i still feel the same way because i think i'm spoiled because nothing right now is measuring up to house labs but i did have a request to try out the charlotte tilbury tilbury and uh the Dior, I think it was, 
so we'll see. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you all for being who you are and for asking and caring uh, about what's going on with me. Now I want to know what's going on with you guys. So I'm always here. You can just put it down below. And that's it. So wherever you are, I hope you are well. Take care. Have some fun, guys. Come on. We all need some fun. And stay safe. Check your surroundings so you guys know. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.